Hey, good morning, everyone. It's another day. Thanks for being here. Um, I trust your days is going on well. Uh, Loretta is supposed to take this morning session, but I don't see her anywhere. So why she was delaying? Oh, Loretta, yes. you're there? You're yes, here now? I yeah, ah, I trust you now. Go, go, go for it. Go for it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I welcome everybody. It's, it's still morning here yeah, and almost uh, it's almost noon here. Yeah. So I welcome us to another day. I pray you this space will continue to help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. For this month, let's go to, let's read the book of John chapter 6, verse 63. John chapter 6, verse 63. It says, I read the King James version, version. It is the spirit that quickens. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. I would, I would, uh, I'll, I'll title this meditation, The Quickening of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit keeps working in us. Hello. And what? Hello, and the, Yes, the Holy Spirit keeps working in us. And it is the Holy Spirit that giveth life. The Holy Spirit is the one that quickens the spirit. So quicken means to give life. That is what the spirit, that is what quickening means. So as we keep praying in the spirit, we are asking for life. We are asking life. We are asking a new meaning, a new refreshing, a new dimension of God's power, of God's grace. Because if we keep praying and we don't know what we are praying for, we are praying amiss. But when we allow the Holy Spirit to give us that utterance, to allow us, definitely it will be the one to guide our prayer life. Then our prayer life will no longer be a, a chore, but rather it is something that gives us joy. The joy of the Lord will continue to guide us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us continue to rely upon the Holy Spirit who is the comforter. And Jesus said in his word that when the spirit of God come upon you, he will teach you all things. And we want to know all things. There are some things in the realm of the spirit that we cannot see, but it is the spirit of the Lord that guided us. The spirit of God is, is, is a light. In one of the word of God that says, it is the only spirit that is a lamp. The lamp is the light light of God, that spirit of God guides. The Holy Spirit gives direction. The Holy Spirit gives understanding. The Holy Spirit gives way. The Holy Spirit gives communion. We, are commun we can commune with the Father with the help of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is very, very silent. It needs, it needs utmost attention. That's why if we, if we sin against the Father, he will forgive us. If we sin against the Son, we will have forgiveness. If we sin against the Holy Spirit, that's doom. And I pray the guide of the Holy Spirit to teach us and to reveal the mind of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will continue to help our spiritual life. We will continue to grow in the knowledge and the word of God with the help of of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.